If you're fortunate enough to win the singles championships at Wimbledon, you become a member for life. Now, I love this club, but there's more to it than meets the eye. I'll let you in on a couple of secrets. So as we walk from the hill, the Spectators Hill, often known as Henneman Hill, this is the main walkway between the court one and the centre court. And there's always something happening here on all outside courts, including court 18, the world's longest match between Mahu and Isna. Sorry, you can't come in here and have a look. But what I can show you is the walk of fame, the walk of the champions, walk that the players will make on finals day. It's got all the history of Wimbledon down here. Bjorn Borg, recognise that headband? Oh, there's a good looking guy. Look at that hairstyle. This is a royal box here, and as a player, when you get to this stage, you're pretty nervous because the centre court is just down these stairs. And here is the trophy cabinet. Now this is the actual trophy. Unfortunately you don't go to get to take it home, but you get a replica. But uh, here is the, the top section, the original section, is where my name is. And because it's run out of space, the bottom section here is where they're adding the new names. And the little bit on top of the trophy, of all things, is a pineapple. And this lovely trophy is the Venus Rosewater dish that the women get. And right here is the famous Kipling saying as the players walk on the court. And as you come out here, you know that as a young player for the first time, it is just electric. Your dream has come true, but imagine playing for it in a final. Well, the roar and the atmosphere here is something that I will never forget.